about a poor boy, Matt Dillon, growing up under the tutelage of a rich card sharp, Richard Crenna. But coming up next <laughs> at the movies, how a teenage car parker learns a lot about life from a wealthy old card sharp. The best training for life is life. I'm thinking about going into sales. The Cabana Boy is going into sales. The film The Flamingo Kid is one of the pleasant surprises of this holiday movie season, a season filled with a lot of disappointment. It's a sweet little coming-of-age comedy about a teenage boy from a working-class Brooklyn neighborhood who has his head turned when he begins working as a parking attendant at a ritzy but gauche Long Island country club. Matt Dillon plays the boy, and he's way out of his league when he goes to visit the home of the wealthy man, Richard Crenna, who has taken a liking to him. Darling, why don't you go to Vassar or, or Smith? Because I didn't get accepted there, Mother. Oh, the exception. Oh. Thank you. Aspic, Jeffrey. Mother, I don't really think Jeffrey knows what Aspic is. No, I don't. It's like Jello. So don't take it, Jeffrey. I hate Aspic. Oh, Phil, Lizzie worked all day on this dish. I read it to her from the New York Times. Phyllis, I don't want anything on my plate that moves. Hmm? Right, Jeffrey? <laughs> I've been thinking that it's bad for our image to have a parking lot attended in our house. Uncle Phil. It's only just his wife. No, no. Does uh, Cabana Boy sound better? Uh, Cabana Boy? I don't like that. Why, Mrs. Brody, I give my right arm. You know Colonel Eastman? Oh, of course. He, own, he owns the El Flamingo. After dinner, I'm going to give him a phone call. He's into me for a lot of money. <laughs> Daddy's part owner of the club. This summer, I'm going to win the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he's going to win the club is by playing Gin Rummy. He is the master at that game, at that club. And this character of his, Mr. Brody, is quite a character. His motto, you may remember, is you are what you wear. I like <laughs> that. He wears a lot of silk shirts. The key to this film is its knowing sense of 60s detail and also a terrific star performance by Richard Crenna as Mr. Brody, who, of course, Richard Crenna has been known mostly as a TV actor. This will change that, I hope. He is properly vulgar, this Mr. Brody, and very funny in his role as the shrewdest card player at the country club. And he teaches Matt Dillon almost every one of his tricks. Almost every one. The special accomplishment of the Flingo Kid, in addition to its humor, is that it's not just another teenage sex comedy. It has some of those elements, but... Beyond that, this film develops both its teenage and adult characters into complete characters, and together they form a complete world. This is a very funny movie. I liked it a whole lot, too. I really did, and I liked Matt Dillon in it. Mm -hmm. You know, the funny thing about Matt Dillon's career is that even though in his very first picture, which we saw years ago, Over mm -hmm. the Edge, yeah. he was very earnest and good, straight young actor. Nevertheless, in the years in between, he's turned into this sort of Teenage Idol, you know, when teenage girls read magazine articles about Jimmy who, Dean, uh, who his off, latest yeah. girlfriend is or whether he got a new car. So Matt Dillon is an actor, and in this movie, it mm -hmm. is such a subtle and such a sweet performance mm -hmm. that it's likely to be overlooked by people who say, oh, it's just Matt Dillon. It's real good acting. No, I think the two of them really have an interesting yes, relationship. Do. But again, I credit the filmmaker, Gary Marshall, actually, mm -hmm. who creates a whole world. Very good. Mm -hmm. It's a good film. The Flamingo Kid with Matt Dillon as a teenager spending a summer of discovery and Richard Crenna helping to teach him what he ought to be discovering. Right.